Hey, it's Luke at HIP, and if you've been listening to the Grow Ortho podcast maybe for weeks, months, or in some cases years, you know that we typically interview an industry expert, whether it be someone working in the office or a consultant uh, or just a strategic partner for orthodontist. Well, we're going to change things up just a bit. And this year we've actually released four books. And so we're going to release every audio book, basically a chapter for each episode. Listen, enjoy, and let us know what you find valuable and implement and what works well in your office. Thanks so much for supporting HIP. And we hope you enjoy all these episodes on the Practice Growth Series. Introduction. As the first quarter of 2022 was winding down and I was putting the final touches on this manuscript, it struck me how quickly the world is shifting. After two years of a global pandemic transforming the face of business forever, I realized that thriving in the new reality means embracing the ever-accelerating pace of change. Success in this new world requires business owners to constantly adapt to the ever-changing preferences of the customer. The Amazon-inspired instant gratification, click and get right away, culture has reshaped every business. When a lead fills out a web form for a complimentary orthodontic consultation, they want a response right away. If a scheduling coordinator calls them within five minutes, that lead can be converted to a new patient, adding five or $6,000 to the practice. However, if the front desk operates like the industry average, that scheduling coordinator probably won't call that lead back until two days later. And by that point, they will have scheduled their consultation somewhere else, or worse, Go with a DIY aligner company. If your front desk misses just one call a day, that could be costing your practice $1 million a year. This is why I consider the scheduling coordinator to be the most important role in your clinic. It's also the most overlooked. It's the reason why I wrote a whole book about the front desk secrets that make the nation's fastest growing orthodontic practices as successful as they are. Since 2014, I've been studying the business of orthodontics. My company, HIP, has analyzed over a thousand of the 5,700 independent orthodontic practices in the U.S. and followed consumer behavior trends behind creating great smiles. We have had the privilege of helping some of the fastest growing practices meet and often exceed their goals. While these practices varied greatly, the common thread was that the orthodontist had a vision for how they wanted to serve their community a plan for making it real, and metrics that showed them where they were on the path towards their goal. Most importantly, these doctors realized that they had a business to run and that their technical skills generated the most revenue when serving patients. I have noticed that the medical field's mindset is stuck in the old world view where people should listen to me because I'm the doctor. People equated the doctor title with some kind of revered sage whose word was not to be questioned. Back then, you were set for life when you beat out all the other people fighting for the privilege of spending hundreds of thousands of dollars and years of their lives to gain that title. Today, orthodontic services are perceived as commodities, and people are shopping around. The impact on orthodontists with the old world mindset has been debilitating. As a solo orthodontist 20 years ago, you used to be able to open a boutique practice with a team of five or six people and do about $3 million in production. A few years ago, I was at a conference, and I talked to this guy who started precisely this way. He had built a lifestyle around how his practice used to be. Over the years, his production steadily declined to the point where he was just shy of a million dollars. When he should have been reaping the rewards of all his hard work, he struggled to pay bills and maintain the quality of life that his family had become accustomed to living. The average orthodontic practice is doing about $1,200,000 a year in production. In today's world, that's not a whole lot of money. The chips stack up fast when you come out of residency with $800,000 in debt. The insurance game has changed, and the government constantly changes the rules. You've got payroll and taxes, and on top of all that financial stress, there's life. Raising a family. Paying the mortgage and building that dream lifestyle you thought you were guaranteed when you got into the profession. It's no wonder the divorce rate is through the roof and suicides are rising. How do you make this work? There is just so much competition today, and without question, 
you have to do marketing to succeed. There are tons of marketing companies who are happy to step in and generate leads for your practice. Ultimately, orthodontists do want the magical solution that will provide them with the steady stream of new patients and starts that they need to create the practice and lifestyle they desire. At the conference, the guy I talked to was pulling his hair out, trying to figure out what he was doing wrong. Sadly, he was so rooted in the old world mindset that he kept trying to solve the problem on his own. He thought he could save money by trying to run the business himself. He did not realize that there is a massive cost to trying to be the orthodontist and the chief of operations at the same time, and the people who try this end up doing both poorly. On the flip side, Dr. Ben Fishbein of Fishbein Orthodontics has one of the fastest growing orthodontic practices in the country. Since he partnered with HIP back in 2015, he has grown from three locations and 25 team members to eight locations and over 100 team members. To his credit, Dr. Fishbein always thought more like a business owner than an orthodontist, and he had a clear vision of the business he wanted to build. We created the Patient Acquisition and Retention Framework, PARF, through our partnership with him. You can discover more about this framework in our first book, The Ultimate Practice. But medical school forgot to teach you about building the life of your dreams. I'll gladly send you a copy if you reach out to me. At that time, we applied the PARF to all sorts of medical practices with excellent results. We have since decided to specialize in the growth of orthodontic practices only. You can find our first book at https colon forward slash forward slash hip dot agency forward slash front desk secrets. Dr. Fishbein had it figured out. He realized that we were flushing marketing dollars down the drain if we just did marketing to generate leads without a system for converting them into patients, wowing them, and retaining them. As his partner, we helped train his team in this framework alongside the marketing campaigns we ran to build a lead conversion machine that has not stopped growing since. I wrote this book to share what we've learned about growing orthodontic practices and to help orthodontists build a lifestyle that allows them to serve their community at the level they want while still having time to spend with their families. You may or may not want to grow a multi-location orthodontic practice, but I'm sure you have some vision for the life you want to create. If you have decided that you want to take a leadership role, plan how to realize that vision and share it with your team, this book is for you. If not, that's okay too. Whether you have just graduated or have been in the field for 20 years or more, if you want to grow from a boutique practice into a real business, you're looking to take on an associate, or you're thinking of expanding another location, pay close attention. This book is the first in the four-part orthodontic practice growth series. I created this series to compile everything I've learned from working with the fastest growing orthodontic practices in the nation. Book one is about the front desk and the most undervalued role in the practice, the scheduling coordinator. Book two will cover the role of the treatment coordinator. Book three discusses the importance of having a chief operations officer, COO, in your practice that is not you. Finally, book four will explore the future of orthodontics. While this first book was written with orthodontists in mind, I hope you will share it with your office manager, team leader, and anyone else who wants to grow with the vision you have for your practice. It will take someone else, manager, team lead, etc., to work with your team to implement the information and process. Dr. Ben Fishbein didn't start out like this. Listen to what his COO, Amanda Floyd, has to say about his beginnings. I was the treatment coordinator when Dr. Ben bought the practice. The practice was what they call a boutique practice in the industry. We had one small location that was open three days a week. We saw about 30 patients and four new patients a day. We did two-hour consults, a totally different process from what we do now. We kept everything the same for about a year. Shortly after he bought the practice, I started managing it. He had a five-year goal involving seeing patients and someone else overseeing all the processes necessary for that kind of growth. We set out a business plan and just kind of took it step by step. We reached our five-year goal in about a year and a half. Now we're on track this year to quadruple. To emphasize what's possible, Dr. Fishbein was so clear on his vision for the practice that he and his team were able to put systems in place to reduce the time spent in a new patient consult from two hours to one minute. 
A change like that does not happen overnight. And to be clear, the patient still gets a wow experience from all team members involved in the process. Here's what Amanda has to say about transforming their practice. We did it in increments, honestly. We started at two hours, and then we shortened it to an hour and a half, and then to an hour. Then we shortened it to 40 minutes, and then to half an hour. It was just little by little, putting the right people in place to move in the direction we wanted to go. Our team had to be willing to accept things were going to change and do the things we needed to do to get to the next level. Our doctors are not directly involved in management. It's really not what they're skilled at. They are strictly involved in providing patient care. The most productive use of a doctor's time is seeing patients. If you'd like to learn more about Dr. Fishbein's case study, head to https colon forward slash forward slash hip dot agency forward slash front desk secrets. You may have a completely different vision for your practice. If you set a goal, create a plan, and track the metrics that show where you are with your goal, you will get there if you do what it takes. Ultimately, the formula for growing an orthodontic practice and making your vision a reality only involves four principles. One, the orthodontist is a technician, not a manager, so hire a good one. Two, training your team to follow the steps to convert every viable lead into a new patient, and there are no bad leads. Three, marketing to attract the right leads. Four, software that tracks your metrics and holds your team accountable for the goals you've set. We've seen it work over and over again. Mastering these four principles will help you grow, whether you're a brand new practice or finding yourself stuck at a plateau 15 years in. Dr. Kristen Connect opened the doors to her brand new practice just days before the COVID-19 pandemic hit. She knew Connect Orthodontics needed a strong brand identity and an enjoyable experience that would convert potential leads into happy patients in her practice from the very beginning. We ensured that her vision for her practice was reflected in her digital platforms using HIP's brand identity process. In addition, Dr. Connect onboarded the right team members who could truly be brand ambassadors. We then ensured every team member was well-versed in our patient acquisition and retention framework. Once we were confident they could convert the leads we generated, we launched our marketing campaigns. Because Dr. Connect followed the four principles for growing an orthodontic practice, we could track her results using software to follow up on metrics and keep her team accountable. In the first 10 months after opening her doors during a pandemic, she converted over half a million dollars worth of digital leads into happy patients. I know doctors who work five or 10 years to get to this level, and it's all happened so quickly. I couldn't have done that on my own. She produced well over a million dollars in her first full year in practice, 2021. If you'd like to learn more about Dr. Connect's case study, head to https colon forward slash forward slash hip dot agency forward slash front desk secrets. Most practices think that all they need is lead generation when they start working with us. I just need more new patients, is what I frequently hear. The truth is they don't just need lead generation. They need a team that can use the tools and the processes we provide to deliver an excellent patient experience. Otherwise, they have a massive leaky bucket and squander tons of opportunities without knowing what's happening. This concept is so important that I decided to dedicate a whole book to the critical role of your front desk and scheduling coordinators and how it can significantly impact the success of your practice. Dr. Jennifer Eisenhuth had been in practice for around 15 years when she realized she was stuck and needed a boost. She had been doing her own local marketing and just wasn't getting the desired results. She tried out a couple of marketing companies and found them helpful, but the results came in little steps here and there. I liken HIP to being a rocket ship. It was amazing. What was exciting about working with HIP on a long-term basis was that they continued to grow with me and got better at what they were doing. And so we grew together. If you'd like to learn more about Dr. Jennifer's case study, head to https colon forward slash forward slash hip dot agency forward slash front desk secrets. The key to this kind of growth with marketing is having all four growth principles in place when you start running the campaigns. 
That's why we partner with the practices that we work with. We don't want to get lumped in with all the marketing guys that just redo your website, tweak your SEO, and run ads. All those vanity metrics like clicks and impressions tell you nothing. We measure the success of our partners through return on investment, ROI, by dividing the dollars brought in from starts due to marketing over the amount invested in the practice growth system. The numbers we get are staggering. For example, we ran an ROI calculation on one of our partners, All Smiles Orthodontics, at their 14-month mark. In May 2020, they invested $171,500 into their practice. By August 2021, their amount returned ended up being just over $1 million. That's an $828,500 investment gain and an ROI of 483.09%. And that was only from patients who had started treatment. We didn't even show you the potential they can make from the production of leads in the pipeline. We'll get to that later. We've talked about training your team to capitalize on the leads generated through marketing. Still, the big thing that we found was that 99.9% .9 of orthodontic practices did not use customer relationship management, CRM, software, to follow up with prospective patients. They have their practice management suite that creates a file on a new patient when they are scheduled. But what about the leads coming in through the marketing efforts? These names and numbers are often scribbled down on sticky notes with a mental note to call them when I have a moment. In this day and age, there are so many distractions, so we end up not doing what we say we will, remembering to do it later. We see this all the time when we secret shop a practice. Nine out of ten times, we never got a call back, which is ridiculous. Returning that phone call is money, and you help more people get the smile they want. You'll learn more about our Secret Shop report card in Chapter 7, and if you would like to get a Secret Shop done on your front desk free of charge, simply head to www.practicebeacon.com forward slash secret dash shop and complete the form on our webpage. CRM software is very powerful, but it is also complicated. Our goal at HIP was to find out where all the leads that our marketing had generated went. Because no one used CRM for tracking, the leads all ended up going into the big void, and we cannot tell if any of our efforts were affecting the practice growth and hitting the orthodontist's goals. We just wanted something that the scheduling coordinators could quickly and efficiently use to track the follow-ups on leads coming in and whether they converted to a new patient. That's why we built Practice Beacon for orthodontic practices. You can discover more about its capabilities in Chapter 8. Dr. Ernie McDowell, the founder of All Smiles Orthodontics, has five locations, so he definitely has a handle on the business perspective of orthodontics. When we partnered with All Smiles, Dr. McDowell wanted to leverage the power of modern marketing to grow his multi-location practice by converting more leads into patients. He wanted to invest more effort in lead follow-through with metrics that could be monitored and tracked. We trained his team to use our patient acquisition and retention framework so they were ready to handle the leads our marketing generated. We designed a fully functioning website with effective search engine optimization, SEO, and implemented digital ad campaigns, retargeting ads, reputation management, and monthly email newsletters. To track the conversion of leads to new patients, we implemented the use of Practice Beacon with his scheduling coordinators. Applying the four principles of orthodontic practice growth gave all smiles a five times return on investment. Here's what Dr. McDowell had to say. You can learn and read about things that you need to do, but they don't teach you the follow-through and metrics you need to set up to provide checks and balances so you can track and monitor whether what you're doing is actually working. HIP actually sets that up for you, and they help you do it so you can really see that your investment is paying off. It makes you want to invest more because you know the value and the benefit. Marketing is an investment, and if you're doing it right, the more you market, the busier you should get. Eventually, your own rate-limiting factor should be your facilities and how much you want to work. It's important to note that Dr. McDowell is experiencing very rapid growth not only because he partnered with us, but because he only plays the doctor role and has a COO to run the day-to-day. -day. You simply cannot do both if you want to grow. Go to https colon forward slash forward slash hip dot agency 
forward slash front desk secrets. Despite the fact that the practices I have told you about are all very different, they all have a stellar front desk team or a patient care center, which you'll learn more about in chapter nine. They invested in hiring the right people for the scheduling coordinator position and trained them to provide a wow experience from the first call through every step of treatment. Most of all, they know that being an industry leader is a work in progress. They need to be able to rely on their team because they can't do it all. You'll read about the 10 components for the front desk of your dreams in the following chapters. These components are Chapter 1. A team that loves to serve people. Chapter 2. A team that believes in teamwork. Chapter 3. A team that exudes positivity. Chapter 4. A team that understands processes and procedures. Chapter 5. A team that uses simple influence-driven scripts. Chapter 6. A team that embodies speed to lead. Chapter 7. A team that is accountable. Chapter 8. A team that succeeds with tracking and transparency. Chapter 9. A team that benefits from a patient care center. Chapter 10. A team that understands the best practices for growth. Throughout this book, you will find case scenarios from Smith Orthodontics and their star scheduling coordinators, Jan, Lori, and Kim. This is a fictional practice that I created to illustrate key concepts that we encounter in real orthodontic practices daily. They have been doing things right, and they are seeing enormous growth. The other practices, team members, and results shared in this book are real examples of transformations we have seen firsthand. It is my hope that these examples, both made up and real, will help you to visualize a path to the creation of the front desk of your dreams.